Good morning. Hold on one second while I get situated. Uh, to get this phone right. All right. <clears throat> Been talking about the passing on, the passing away of somebody, and uh, that they go into paradise if they belong to. God and there was a righteous soul that was picked before the foundations of the earth. Um, they go into a little holding inhabitant place, you know, uh, that's not hell, Sheol, or, or purgatory. All right, it's a place of God's rest that He was talking about, and our ancestors of the Israelites coming to my rest, which we later find out is the spirit of Christ. What we now know is the paradise of today. See, the atmosphere of earth. The most top, top part of the top, top. That's what we're going to be talking about. And then when you get this understanding and get the NASA lie out of your head, then you can really understand the scriptures for what it say when it says the firmament of heaven, the heaven of heaven, heavens, and then the heaven with the capital H, the throne seat of God, which is all atmosphere of the earth. All right. So we already proven that hell is a physical place. Job chapter 38, verse 30 tells us that Antarctica, the reason why they had Operation High Jump, uh, America sent Admiral Byrd over there, all right, to this dimensional place of, 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 of death and, 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 and torment and wickedness, all right? And at the same time, we went up into uh, space, all right? It's something called uh, Operation Fishbowl. That's funny, ain't it? You surrounded in a glass, they want to call you a fishbowl. But lie to you and tell you you a ball circling around in space, though, right? Yeah. See, you got to pay attention to the lie. Apollo 13 said that they went to the moon and back, right? But y'all laughed at me when I said that they just went to Nevada. Yeah, they shot off something in the air. But you ain't looking at that thing 24-7. That thing did a little curvature thing like an airplane jet. And went and land in Las Vegas, and they went with cameras and all kinds. Like, just like a movie, man. They be making movies on these space missions and stuff like that. Got you out here believing a whole bunch of hot mess. Hot garbage and a lie. Because they know you won't pick up the scripture and get understanding for your own self. So to prove that our uh, people that pass on, that they go up and they ascend their matter into spirit, back where they come from, uh, under the feet. In the footstool of God, not quite the final heaven, but it's called paradise or the place of rest that, that we be talking about in God. And so I need for you to clear your mind and allow the Holy Ghost to speak through me, to reach through you and give you the understanding and information that we so desperately need. And when we get away with this NASA and science stuff that they taught us, you know, my songs say in school, they teach us some bullshit. Okay. Not all religion, but most religions is the same thing. You're teaching something with no power effect. You're a dead socket, okay? A dead socket can't give power to nothing. But it act like it does. It portrays that it does. I mean, even a broke clock is right twice a day, right? Well, a broken socket ain't right at all, all right? So let's understand this and let's go into the spirit. Now. Apollo 13, they say they went in the moon and all these discussions. Had they would have went to the moon, they would have figured this out, okay? There's something called the Van Allen Belt, all right? Again, Christians, this might sound kind of crazy to you, okay? You, you got to get in the study of physics and stuff like that. And this is why we don't know what's going on, because we refuse to meditate upon the word of God. We refuse to listen to the preacher when the Holy Ghost is speaking through her or him or the young, the youth minister, whoever. The Iman, whatever, all right? And they be telling them these things, but they be telling us things in spirituality. But because they're giving us examples in the physical, whoo, boy, we missed the marker. So let's understand that these niggas never went to the moon. I'm saying one more time. Those niggas never went to the moon, nor will they ever go to the moon. Well, how do you know that? Before we even get in the Bible, let's step into theology, right? Chris, uh, what's that dude's name? Alan Bean. He was one of them astronaut lying niggas that went up there with uh, Armstrong and them talking about they walked on the moon and, and all of this. When today they build a, a metal surface thing called Orion, something that, that can take radiation. And they sent that shot, that thing way up there, man. And they said they can't send no human body 
until they figure out how to get through this Van X, uh, Van Allen belt. Now, what's so significant about the Van Allen belt? It has electrons. What do we know electrons is? Demons and devils and strongholds. But let's stay in the scientific now. They say electrons that are powerful, radiative, and radioactive. It hits this invisible glass-looking shield. Remember, y'all laughed at me when I said the sky was a was a compressed hydrogen and it looks like a mirror glass, a molten glass. That's exactly what your book say in the book of Job. Chapter 37, verse 18. Yeah. And so it says, the scientists say that you can't even leave the atmosphere of the earth because of this Van, uh, this, uh, Van Allen belt and this radiational shield and this bubble that won't let not even nukes Remember, I told you, Operation Hijack was shooting up nukes and stuff. And Russia, they was over here doing what we were doing in, uh, in Antarctica. God knows what they were doing. Okay, so up in space was the United States. And Russia, they was like, well, hell, we still going to go send some missions and stuff up there. But right now, we're going to be focused on what Admiral Byrd left at Operation Hijack. And we already know Germany was over there talking to some grain beings that live a thousand years. Hello. Same freaking demons and giants and Nephilim and all of that that we read in the Bible, but we don't want to take what the Bible say. We want to take what some old nigga with a degree and he over here doing sorcery and stuff, lying to you, but we don't want to take the pastor. Oh, the pastor lying. The pastor got the world, the real spirit behind him or her, and she telling you the gospel truth. We don't want to accept that. We want to accept the lying sorcery wizard dude because he got a degree in science. Oh, but he study those things. Yeah, he study how he can lie to you. Yeah. You ever notice that they don't never come with divine truth? They call it theology. When they don't know that it's accurate, or they call it fact. And they don't never say truth. This is the, the, the divine way. They always come up with some thesis, a, a philosophy or something. But they don't never tell you that it's the divine, this is what it is. But somebody that's teaching the word of God, though, they tell you this is what it is. But you won't take it. So the Lord allowed me to talk to people in physics and, and science, but I'm still using the scripture, okay? I may not be saying go to book and book such and such, but God said nature would teach you about him. So I don't need you, your stinking degree, your falsification of religion, personifying that you are with God and you're not because your actions and your words tell me something different. That's what the Bible tell me, judge a man or a woman by the fruit of their works. For out of the heart flows the issues of life. Isaiah chapter 40. Let's just skim through these uh, scriptures. Because it's self-explanatory, you know. I, 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 I ain't telling you something that you don't know. No, you can go to these scriptures yourself, all right. So, let's go. Isaiah 40, chapter 20. I mean, Isaiah chapter 40, verse 21 says, Do you not know? Do you not have heard? Has it not been told to you from the beginning? You Have you not understood since the earth was founded? He, who is he, God, sits enthroned above the circle of the earth. Above the circle of the earth. And its people are like grasshoppers. He stretches out the heavens like a canopy and spreads them out like a tent to live in. He brings princes to naught and reduces the rulers of the world to nothing. For we do not fight against flesh and blood, but against principalities, strongholds, and wickedness in high places. See that? Let's talk about demonology right there. No sooner are they planted, no sooner are they sown, no sooner do they take root in the ground, than he blows on them and they wither. And a whirlwind sweeps them away like a shaft. That's what we call the reapers. Come and take the, the, the soul and they pass on or what you call death. That's just one way of how you enter God's rest. If you're of him, you go up. If not, you stay in the ground. Self-explanatory? Okay. Let's go to Job. I see your heads turning. There's many scriptures. Like I said, script upon script, line upon line. Nobody can call you a lie. Job 22, chapter 12. I mean, Job chapter 22, verse 12. It is not God in the heights of heaven. Well, which heaven? It ain't capital H, so it's not talk talking about throne. Okay? And see how lofty are the highest stars. 
what Satan say? I'm above, I'm gonna rise above the stars of God. You know, them sevens, seven archangels. Yet you say, what does God know? Does he judge through such darkness? Thick clouds veil him. What did Jesus rise up on when the apostles was looking at him? And then they say he just disappeared. Oh, but we thought God was way out there. Nah, it's still the atmosphere of the earth, man. Just, just a little bit above. Let me give you a visual so you can understand. Yeah, you gotta excuse my drawing, all right? Now, this is what separates the circular pancake earth, all right? All seven continents are inside of that circle. Remember, in the beginning, God created heaven and the earth. This part right here is the heaven's waters. Heaven's waters, not earth waters. Heaven's water. And above that, where you see heaven's water, is heaven. I just ran out of space on the paper. All right. And then there's a bubble in between that. In between that is the radiational field, the Van Exel belt, or whatever you want to call it. And then, then you got that dome that they've been shot on the missiles and stuff at. When you uh, used to see the sky glow up and you thought it was shadow lightning or heat lightning. No, that was the nukes up there. They're trying to blow up the doggone dome that's protecting humankind from the electrons. But these are the people you put your faith into. Anyway, hell is under here. All right. That's why it's a line that separates the circular earth and all seven continents inside of the circular earth. Above that is your sun and your moon right there by the dome. That line right there is when God said separate light from darkness. Right now we have day over there in the east. They have a night, but it's the same time. Right. So I ain't lying. Now you got the visual. All right. All right. And it told you that uh, God's throne, uh, he be sitting on clouds and stuff, just looking at all the inhabitants of the earth. That would be dead red, right? Where in that did it say that the earth move and we are bald? First, uh, first Chronicles 16, verse 30, going to blow that off the way. For when God made the foundations of the earth, he made them immovable. Well, that's only one verse, B.C. Well, let's go. Psalms chapter 93. All right, let's go there. Oh, first, let me go to Job. 38, 30 for the newcomers that, 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 I mean, 37, 18 for the newcomers that didn't know nothing about that you are trapped in a glass ball. I mean, in a glass dome. All right, 37, 18 of Job say, can you join him, God, in spreading out the skies hard as a mirror of a cast bronze? Here it is. Your Egyptian tology, all that stuff told you that. That the, the, the stars are, are, are angels and they're hanging from the doggone, um, the, uh, the hammering of what God uh, put up there as our firmament, or they call it the vault. I'm going to prove it to you. I mean, you know, it's more scriptures. Let's go to Psalms 93.1. Yeah, I can't make this stuff up, folks. You know, it say don't add to the word of God or take away. A hell fire will come get you, you know. I don't like heat, period. Okay, so anyway, hell. I'm going to hell, okay? I'm not trying. It ain't my thought. I don't even care about it. Don't even want to think about it. But let's get to the truth. Psalms 93.1 says, The Lord reigns. His, he is robed in majesty. Mm. The Lord is robed in majesty and is armed with strength. The world is firmly established and cannot be moved. Good God. How many times are we going to see this before we believe it? Your throne was established long ago. Whose throne? God's throne. But where is it? Because they laughed at me. Because you can't see God sitting on the throne giving out orders because he said he put the clouds to cover us. I told you when you ride on your jet airplane on a beautiful day, look down when you don't see the earth no more and all you see is a cumulus puff clouds, you are in the atmosphere of the bottom of heaven. We couldn't understand that. So let's just read the scriptures and let them tell us and give us the enlightenment. And stop believing these liars. Mm -hmm. Your throne was established long ago. You are from eternity. The seas have lifted up, O oh Lord. The seas have lifted up their voice. I didn't even know water could talk. The seas have lifted up their pounding waves. Mightier than thunder and of the great waters. Mightier than the breakers of the sea. The Lord is on high, his might. Your statues stand firm. Holiness adorns your house, which is us souls of righteousness for endless days oh lord that don't rock your bubble let's go to the same book chapter 96 uh verse number 10 
It says, uh, Say among the nations the Lord reigns. The world is firmly established and cannot be moved. The hell is NASA talking about? He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens rejoice, the earth be glad. Let the sea resound and all that is in it. Let the fields be jubilant and everything in them. Then all the trees of the forest will sing for the joy. They will sing before the Lord for he comes. He comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world in righteousness and the peoples in his truth. Trees talking, water talking. Oh, y'all laughed at me, though, when I told you everything was the spirit, though. Oh, you just never heard teaching like this before. They don't teach things like this. 104, chapter, same book, Psalms 104. We're going to read one in verse number five. You know, I, you know, I'm not a devil. They're going to portray me to be. But, uh, hey, if it's, you can't catch it, you just can't catch it. 104 says, verse one, praise the Lord, oh, my soul. Oh, Lord, my God. You are very great. You are clothed with the splendor of majesty. He wraps himself in the light as with a garment. He stretches out the heavens like a tent and lays the beam of his upper chambers on their waters. One more time, because, you know, now you can't you can stop calling me a fool. You can stop telling your pastor. I don't know what I'm talking about. OK, he can stop saying that. Or she can stop saying that. OK, there's a spirit here, everything you Put somebody's name out of your mouth and put it back. God said he don't allow his people to see shame. Ain't nobody telling me nothing. The spirit is telling me what the people is saying. But I, yep, I don't call nobody and they say, hey, man, they're over here talking about you. <laughs> now, let's read it again. Praise the Lord, oh, my soul, oh, my Lord, my God. You are very great. You are clothed with the splendor and the majesty. He wraps himself in the light with the garment. He stretches out the heavens, which is your atmosphere of sky, and lay like a tent and lays the beams of his upper chambers on their water. He makes the clouds his chariot and ride on the wings of the wind. He makes his wings his messengers. You know what Hebrew 1 7 said? <laughs> Flames of fire is his archangels or servants. He set the earth on his foundations and it can never be. What it is, you put your faith in China science before you do the Bible. Science tells you something that the Bible does not agree with. That's what we that's what we start to see, you know. That's what we don't want to walk away from. We want to walk with with the Lord, not walk uh, 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 away from the Lord. One one forty eight says, verse four says, uh, to praise Him all His angels, praise Him all His heavenly hosts, praise Him. Son. And moon, praise him, all you shining stars. <laughs> praise him, you highest heavens, and you waters above the skies. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded, and they were created. For everything is the nature of the nature of the spirits of themselves, animals and nature and herbs and grass and trees and so forth. But when it comes to man, man is the only thing God put his lips on and kissed. So when he kiss us back and take the life back, we go back to where we come from. But in born into sin, we forgot. Last scripture and I'm done. Psalms, same book, chapter 19. This will be the, the grand finale, you know, shooting up all fireworks. This is the last show. All right? This is more reading than explaining because it's self-explanatory. It says, verse 1, Psalms 19. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Day after day, they pour forth speech. Night after night, they display knowledge. Astrology, right? There is no speech or language where the voice is not heard. Their voice goes out into all the earth, their words to the ends of the world. In the heavens, he has pitched a tent for the sun. He pitched a tent for this. That means there's something above the sun and the moon that, that houses it. The Bible tell you, which is like a bridegroom coming forth from his pavilion. Like a champion rejoicing to run his course. It rises as one end of the heavens and makes its circuit to the other. Nothing is hidden from its we ain't no ball running 
running around. We don't move, but the heavenly bodies move around us because they are spiritual things with bodies that move, not that the earth moves. So, I don't know, folks. One more. I give you one more. Uh, Amos 9, chapter 6 say, It is he who builds the upper chambers in the heavens and who has found his vault over the earth. Who calls the waters of the sea and pours them out on the face of the earth? The Lord is his name. Even your NASA tell you that they just can't jump up in space or shoot anything out. They got to wait till the windows of heaven open up. It's like a tunnel. The access portal way. Like you go on the Chesapeake Bay Bridge and then after you're on, away from the top of the bridge, you're in the tunnel. You're still going through, but if you're looking outside and don't know there's a tunnel, you hell everybody going. It was on top and then it just disappeared. Same concept when you're going into space. You go up there and that window ain't open. See if you don't burn the hell up and fall right back down. Why do you think you see falling stars come back falling down? Because there were demons going up to heaven trying to go back up to where they don't belong. God shot them right back down like ping pong. Wow. Whoop. And they fell down. Well, you call them shooting stars and wish upon a shooting star. Hey, you doing that devil kundalini stuff. Keep listening to people, man. <laughs> Keep listening to old rituals and, and spells of magic and what do they call them? Um, myths. You know, fable. You know, sweet by a uh, foot with the broom. Some bad luck going to come. Man, nigga, you Lucifer, man. You luck. Lucifer got his name in it. If. If you do this, Lucifer. If. Everything with Lucifer got his freaking name in it or something. I, I, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. You ain't do nothing, man, without the Spirit of God. You can, but you ain't going to be doing nothing for the Spirit of God. You know, you got to be led by the Spirit to even walk in the Spirit. So, with this understanding, we know that in between the dome, where God say in between heaven and earth, there was the paradise, you know, the other type of heaven that we go on and we just wait for the day of the Lord. You know, like the Israelites did, walk the water, they walk the Jordan, then boom, the promised land. Not everybody that they left with made it in the promised land either. Niggas died off. So that was the people that wasn't supposed to receive the promised land. So not everybody that died go, go be in paradise. You need to understand that, you know, so you don't be looking shocked and confused later on, okay? Just because just cause people be doing good things, that, that, that don't mean that they went to heaven. Bible say evil people know how to give good gifts too. They know how to do good things too. So it's about the faith, people. It's about the works that they do from the inside out, not outside in. Okay. Not sorcery, doing stuff outside, tricking the mind. When you're doing evil, you have an evil agenda on the inside of your heart. Okay. But when you don't, and you just do things, whether a person pay you back or not, you're not even telling them. I'm giving you this to borrow. You really saying, man, I don't care less the cat can give it to me or not. I'm just doing it because the Lord told me to do it. These type of people God looking for. Even the Bible tell you that. Man, go give to somebody that you know can't give back to you. Why the hell you let that man say, let me borrow the money? Just tell that man, go ahead, man, take care of your family. If you don't, God going to hold you accountable for that. But if you're going to do what you're going to do, go ahead and do what you're going to do, man. Whether you do or don't, God still going to bless me because I listen to God. People be talking about something. Well, he's a drunkard. I don't know when to give him the money. Well, what the hell God sent him to you for? You didn't think about that because you were thinking about the outside in. That's that sorcery crap, man. God sent that drunkard to your house. Give that man that money, man. The devil ain't going to do nothing like that. Mm -mm. And give you a word to give to the God? I mean, it's a difference when someone go to your house and God said, mm -mm, don't do it. <coughs> But God telling you, hey, man, I want you to just bless this soul. But you just know his life or she her, her life or whatever. Oh, man, she ain't going to smoke some weed or whatever, blah, 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 blah. But God is not about what they do. See, there you go, trying to be God. It's not about what the person do. It's that did you listen when God sent them to knock on the door to your house or call you on the telephone or, or whatever the case. So... Shout outs, keep my family in prayer. Shout outs, uh, my cousin Durante Polite, Sarah Polite, all his children and, and family. We uh, we uh, we greatly appreciate him. We're gonna keep him in prayers. 
and his family, and keep my grandmother, my uncle, my auntie, Teddy Ann. Um, they keep us all in prayer. Keep us the, the strength in the Lord. Pray the strength uh, for the gain this family. You know, that the Lord uh, really, really be stand by their side and, and give them understanding of all natures and all things and why things happen. Uh, even when it's bad, if you belong to God, it's for, it's to turn around for the good. So just keep praying for these folks. You know, that's all you can do, man. Don't be showing up in nobody's face or nothing like that. You know, you want to help somebody, just pray for them. If God wants them to show up in your face, then he'll send them to you. Okay, that's what I pray for. God, don't let me go out and start looking for people. You send them to my door. Send them. Call. Send, tell them to call me. Say, I need this, whatever. I can't go wrong that way. But if I just go out and start doing my own stinking thinking and then blaming God for it, and then I'm mad because I don't see no blessing because I'm thinking I'm supposed to receive a blessing, well, that's all a double S backwards, okay? Because your first intent should be, God, do you want me to do this? Not... I'm going to go ahead and do this, then ask God, then be mad when he don't bless you. See, 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 see we funny, folks. We blaming God for stuff that we get our own our own self into, man. This is what God is opening my eyes to. God bless. This is BC, the Hebrew, BC, the